Hey guys, in this video I show you 10 assets that you should get for free if you don't have them yet, because these asset packs will really boost your game. In this video I'm mainly showing you assets that are very general, so that as many of you as possible have something, so not something like a flying broom or similar. If you can think of more assets, I would be happy if you could share them with the others in the comments so that the others can also benefit from them. So, let's get started. The first pack is the Zombie Animation Pack Standard from Quackavoid. It contains 32 great animations to create a third-person shooter or similar. They look authentic and work great together. They are officially available from Unreal Engine 5.0 to 5.6, but should also work in lower Unreal Engine versions without any problems. The only problem with the animations is that they are in place and have no root motion available. This means that everything has to be created manually and is a little more time consuming, but much better than spending several hundred bucks on other animations. The second pack is a third person shooter kit from Soriox on Patreon, who has linked Gasp to his project, making this pack a real must have. It has all the basic functions of a good shooter, such as shooting and reloading. It also includes an AI that works really well. The player can also have several weapons equipped at the same time, which looks really epic. This means that most of the work is already done for you, and you only have to replace the assets, as these are used as placeholders. You can find the link for the packs in the video description. The third asset pack is a fast travel system from Kingboards, who released this pack for free as a 300 subscriber special. It is very easy to use and works without any major problems. It can also be connected to Gasp, which gives you a much greater impact. You should only change the UI for the fast travel system, as this only serves as a placeholder and should make it as easy as possible for the user to understand how the pack works. In any case, it's a great thing of him to release the pack as a special. The fourth asset pack is the Easy Building System V10 from Easy Systems. Most people might already know this asset pack, as it is really extremely good and contains everything you need for a building system. On the one hand, you can collect resources, whereby really good animations are played, and then you can create the hut with these resources. And there are a lot of assets inside. You can build walls as well as floors, but also roofs and stairs, and the graphics look breathtaking, especially if you want your game to look more cozy. If not, that's no problem, because the assets are easily interchangeable, and you can swap them with your own assets. But this pack is a real must for anyone who wants to create a survival game, or is already doing so. The fifth asset pack is the Survival Character Free from Arberry, which looks similar to a metahuman, but is completely self-modeled. It also contains an extremely suitable suit for a survival game and includes a black backpack. The pack is available for Unreal 5.1 to 5.5, although it should also be available for other versions, as there is no code for the character, which should not cause any errors. Furthermore, the character is rigged for the Unreal character, which means that it can use the same animations as an Unreal Engine mannequin figure, which is really handy. Also, the character is customizable in terms of colors, which is really cool because you might be able to create a great character customizer where you can change the colors of the character and give the player new experiences with the game. So the pack is something for everyone who wants to create a realistic survival game or maybe something similar to GTA 6. The sixth assets pack is the Advanced Quest System from Koyo Prog, which was created with C++, but can also be used in Blueprints. Because it was created in C++, it is also much more powerful and can offer you much more. In addition, the system has everything a good quest system needs. Because it shows you your current quest, it is super easy to use, you can set quests that you need to unlock a new quest, and you are offered a clear error log directly so that you know directly why something did not work. It's available for Unreal Engine 5.1 to 5.6, which means that the creator of the pack is still updating this asset regularly, which is really great of him, because that means you just have to swap the assets with your own and the system is ready to go. The only problem is that you can't really add to the system if you know little or nothing about C++, so it's best to use it if you're that lucky or know something about it. The seventh pack is the super simple FPS pack from Zero Flex Gaming because it contains everything an FPS game needs, such as a first-person camera, a good shooting system, and a good minimap, as well as lives. The special thing about this asset pack is that the developer is constantly bringing in new changes, such as a pause menu or a weapon swap system, which is really cool of him. Unfortunately, it is only available for the Unreal Engine 5.5, 
And because it contains code, it could, in the worst case, not work 100% in other versions, which is a shame. But the asset itself is really great. Also, the developer offers help on Discord, which also shows how much he supports other game developers. Furthermore, there are some great foot animations included, which can also be used outside of this asset pack. For example, for a first-person horror game. The eighth pack is the Dynamic Skill Tree System from Xylofix Studio. It contains basic functions of a skill tree system, but what really stands out is how polished the whole thing looks. The animations for unlocking, how the icons dynamically change as soon as you unlock a skill, and how seamlessly everything works. Furthermore, the skills are dynamically connected to each other, which means you can move them wherever you want and the connecting line follows the position, which is really cool. The pack is available for Unreal Engine 5.2 to 5.6, which means that this developer hasn't forgotten this pack either. Additionally, the system has a save system integrated, which means everything is already saved and loaded for you, making it much easier to use. Moreover, a plugin is included in the description that makes the pack usable with a controller, which sounds extremely interesting, since most systems unfortunately leave this out, even though it's a great extra. The ninth pack is the MW Landscape Auto Material by Maui United. It not only looks incredibly good, but it also works with any landscape without issues. It looks very realistic and is really easy to customize, as you can dynamically set the height for each material and add whether it should contain water or snow. Furthermore, the grass material includes grass and rocks, which makes it look really authentic. You can also create various landscapes with it, whether it's a tropical island in the middle of the ocean or a dried up desert. The pack is available for Unreal Engine 5.2 to 5.6, which shows how actively the creator is working on this asset pack. Additionally, the creator and some others have made extremely good tutorials on how the asset pack works. So preparing the asset pack shouldn't cause any problems. It's also very compatible with the easy building system or the survival character, meaning you would almost already have a finished survival video game that you could play with your friends. Finally, as the 10th pack, I have the Animal Variety Pack from Protofactor Incorporated, which includes a bunch of animals with animations such as a pig, a crow, a deer, and a wolf, with all animals having between 17 and 26 animations. The pack is available for Unreal Engine 4.15 to 5.5 and is therefore usable with almost every version except the newest Unreal Engine 5.6. However, this pack is really great as the models look realistic and are very well suited for a survival video game or a farming simulator. The only downside of this asset pack is the fur on some animals. Because it's so clearly visible, it looks a bit strange in some areas. But for a free asset pack, it's really well done, and the negative aspects are only minimal. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any future videos from me. I'd also love to know which asset pack you like the most out of the 10, so let me know in the comments. See you next time!